This video will show you how to add a module page into your Blackboard class. Now modules are uh, bits of content in Blackboard that are controlled at the division level. And you're already familiar with uh, Blackboard modules, even if you don't know it, because you're familiar with, when you log into Blackboard, you've seen the My FCPS tab. Everything on this tab is a module. So this is a, an example of a system module page. So tools, my courses, my organizations, quick links for staff. You know, I can minimize them, maximize them. Some of them I can move around on the page. Some of them are locked by the division because they always want them to be there in that position. Um, but these are your, each of these is a module that contains some bit of content that is created at the division level and made available. So like in addition to these system things, I, I've got a, I've pulled a couple library database modules. So there is a module for every library database um, and online textbook and I've pulled those on if, if I want to go to use these frequently, you, know, you may want to put those modules on your own My FCPS tab. But I'm going to show you how you can add a module in your course. So if you know, there are certain things I want my to send my students to often, like MyOn, TumbleBooks, ImageQuest, MathSpace, other library databases or basal digital resources, I can pull those modules into my Blackboard class. So to do that, edit mode needs to be on, and I can add my module page either on my course menu, so just add module page, and click the little plus, select module page, or I can create a module page within a content area. So build content, module page. Um, I will show adding it within this content area, but you can just as easily create this module page on your course menu that way. So build content, module page. Give it a name. You probably would give it a name like um, online databases or links to. And whatever you want to, <laughs> to, to the content you plan on pulling together there. And then you can give it a description and then submit. And that just creates a link to the module page. Notice I did not have a description here. So I open it and right now it's blank. And then I just add <coughs> course module, the modules I want onto that page. So I'll, I'll do four examples. Um, let me first add my on. So add a course module. I can search for it. I could browse through all six pages of them if I wanted, but in the interest of time, I know I want to add my on. So there's the library resource module ebooks my on just add that module has been added to my page. So let me go back and show you. So that my on module is now on this module page. Students go there. They just click there to go to my on. So let me go ahead and add tumble books. So I'll, I'll add another course module. I'll search tumble go so there's the tumble book library and if I'm if I want to add both I can add tumble books and tumble book junior let me add image quest which is an excellent source for images library resource Britannica image quest let me add that one and since I mentioned basal resources, let me find math space and add that one and said, okay, so go back to my module page. Those five modules are all, have all been added and then I can rearrange them however I want. So maybe I'll put math space and Britannica on that column and my on in tumble books junior and tumble book library right there on the left and that's the way i like it and so edit mode is off and so when my students come to this page they have direct links to perhaps a digital textbook particular ebooks or databases i want to send them to 
all the time right here in my class.